Holly Wire, what is going on? We have our boy Acon here. Yes, sir. What's going on, dude? Man, I'm launching Acoin. Uh, we just launched in Cannes. It was an amazing turnout, so now I'm doing it here in California. So how did you want to like get into cryptocurrency? What, why did you want to do that? I started to realize that the population in Africa itself needed more power you know, to take over and control the surroundings around them because the resources are being utilized, not being backed properly. You know, so we wanted to kind of create uh, a coin for Africa itself that will kind of give the people back its power and also utilize and have a coin that can help to uh, empower the resources that's coming out the continent, you know? I've heard that story about your, with your mom, your grandma, that you were there and you were like, God, you guys are living with no power. And now yeah. tell me that story, how you decided to put, he put electricity in Africa. Well, you know, uh, visiting my grandma, grandma. You know, she, grandparents just don't want to leave. They have too many memories and where they are. And yeah. unfortunately, when she lived in a village where it was too far for the grid to be extended, it would cost billions of dollars. And I had to find ways to get electricity there because I visit there often, you know. So I, I started my, uh, you know, uh, energy company, which completely uh, will move on um, towards solar, solar energy. And I went to the Chinese and, and got a billion dollar credit line to be able to, you know, electrify the whole continent. And starting with my grandma's house, now we're in 16 countries in Africa. How many people now have electricity in, in Afri Africa because of you? Uh, millions, man, millions. That's awesome. Yeah, millions. That's awesome. How often are you in the studio still? Are you still going in the studio? Are you still working oh, no, people? The, yeah, the studio follows me wherever I go. Everywhere you, know, you go. I got a portable studio. I'm constantly working, constantly writing. People are out there now with songs that I've wrote that you don't even know on the radio, but I like to keep it that way because it keeps me very relevant to myself. What, what was it like when you had you had a song number one and number two on the charts, and Drake just did that too? Yeah, Drake just did that. That's pretty. That's He's up like there with you now. That's amazing. No, because I was always a huge fan of Drake, man. I always felt like he definitely had everything it took to be that, you know. And I to watch him from where he is. I mean, where he was and where he is today, it's, I mean, it's just amazing. And the kid has worked so hard, he's so talented. Like, I'm a huge fan of him, seriously. Could we maybe go, go back into some of the old songs? Like, when you go and play them at, like, when you go play them at clubs, and I, you, I saw, like, on your Instagram, you performed at, like, a place in Vegas. What's that like when you still go play that and the crowd still, it's... It reminds you why we're in this business in the first place. You know, the smile on those faces, the, you know, the, them repeating your songs and your words back to you. Like these are moments I used to dream of, and when it's happening, I'm like, wow, this actually actually happened. You know what I mean? So, do you still like keep in touch with Gaga? I know you guys. I know you cashed in. You got. You're not. You're not. You don't. You still work with it though at all? Do you guys still keep in touch? Well, actually, I haven't spoke to Gaga in almost three years because I've been in Africa, moving around a lot. You know, but she's still my sister. I still love her dearly, man. So, it's never been any bad blood between us. We've always been great. Oh, of course. Always. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've heard that. You're still always. Yeah, support. no, that's my girl, man. I love her. Cool. Let's play a game real quick here. It's called Smack That. Okay. Now, which right. one of these two? in your career just you you would smack that smack that would be like yeah I, I would do that gym or yoga gym 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 yeah, okay, yoga, yoga's tough for guys well yoga is I can just it, not flexible it hurts your joints hurts the joints uh, <laughs> beach or pool smack that beach all day beach all day good all one beach all day Lamborghini or Bentley used to be Lamborghini but now I'm more comfort driven so I would definitely go with the Bentley philanthropist humanitarian or the president of the United States you can do more as the president. Do more as the president. Absolutely. But dude, Akon, you're amazing. Thank you so much. Ah, uh, thank you. I